So Kirio just crashed and I really hope you're taking notes because all the notes that we did were, are lost and I guess that's that but getting back on track I told you I was going to do an example concerning graphs with respect to the total revenue test and that's what we're going to do uh, even though we lost our notes that's no problem because we're smart enough to do it without them. So. Um, so this graph shows the relationship between the elasticity of demand and the, the total revenue. So we're going to have our price fall from 25 to 1250 and this will cause the quantity of demand to increase from 0 to 25 hot dogs. And with these effects, we, fo we found that in the past couple of past videos before we lost our notes we are, we were doing the same kind of example and we found that that the, that the elasticity is 4 and when we find that uh one well our elasticity was 4 and it's greater than the unit elasticity which is great which is greater than 1 so 4 is greater than 1 so that means that uh, our demand is elastic but but from this information, we know that our demand is elastic and that total revenue increases. So we're going to take a look at this bell-shaped uh, graph right now. As this is our pretty much our, our uh, total revenue graph, I guess you can call that. So this, our, this is our total revenue graph, a bell-shaped, a bell-shaped, bell or a bell-shaped, yeah, bell-shaped graph. And... Um, yeah, the, the quantity the, the quantity increases from 0 to 25, the demand is elastic, and the total revenue increases. And this is shown in the graph with pretty much an arrow tracing the curve going this way. And this arrow represents um, a, elastic demand, and it represents that when we cut the price the total revenue would increase so this you can say that this whole left side of this bell-shaped curve this whole left side is pretty much um, when when demand is elastic because when the demand is elastic by cutting the price we can increase our total revenue so this left side that shows the increase pretty much represents our elastic demand Okay, so we found out that the demand is elastic and total revenue increases. Now let's go on to the unit elasticity. And let's just write our info. So at 1250, the demand, demand, or I really guess I, I should write that on the other side because it's already on the other side. So demand is unit elastic and remember from the past videos I told you that when demand is unit elastic that the total revenue doesn't change the total revenue is unchanged so total revenue stops increasing total revenues stop uh, increasing so this unit elasticity is already shown here in this graph I have a have an arrow pointer pointing to a price of 1250 and a quantity demanded of 25. That is our unit elastic demand. Now, on our total revenues uh, in our bell shaped curve, this is shown at the top of the bell shaped curve. And at the top of the bell shaped curve, that is our maximum total revenue. Maximum total revenue. So, with the price cuts and everything, we can make it so that the maximum total revenue we can get is at this point. And we can easily find the price for this point simply because we found out that we increased um, the quantity demand increased by 25 and that the price dropped to 1250. So taking 25 times 1250, we get 312.50. So the maximum total revenue that we can get, whoops, total maximum revenue that we can get is 312.50. And that's the maximum total revenue possible for us. And now for the last 
um, last part. The last part will focus on the other, the right side of the bell-shaped curve. So, so let's say that price fell from 1250 to zero, to zero dollars. In this case, our quantity demanded increases from increases from uh, 25 to 50 and 25 to 50 hot dogs and in this case our demand is inelastic demand is inelastic inelastic and the total revenue that we can the total revenue decreases total revenue decreases so this part of the graph is represented um, at the at at this lower part of the of the straight line curve. So below the unit elastic point is our inelastic demand, and at this area of our uh, of our curve, the demand is inelastic, and we find that our total revenue is decreasing. So. As the quantity increases from 25 to 50 pizzas, demand is inelastic and the total revenue decreases. And this is shown in the total revenue graph in our bell-shaped curve as just an arrow going down from the maximum total revenue point. So this blue arrow that I'm currently drawing that re represents the right half of our bell-shaped curve pretty much represents when demand is inelastic and when our total revenue falls. And this is all I want to talk about with respect to the total revenue tests. And yeah, I'm really sorry that um, my program crashed and we lost our notes. But uh, other than that, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys are taking notes and take notes in the next video as well so i'll see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching